Welcome to a fresh new episode of TD News Show, and as always, today's show is going to be amazing. So definitely press the subscribe button and let's start the show. And let's start the show with Intel because it looks like Intel's new Rocket Lake CPUs are going to be amazing, and they might have the chance. To fight back. Intel is struggling with its node development and it looks like the next generation consumer CPU is also going to be stuck on 14 nanometer for a bit more. But Intel will finally break free from Skylake based architecture and launch something new because it looks like Rocket Lake is going to feature the backport of 10 nanometer Velo Cove code called Cypher. Press Core, <laughs> Cove, Cypress Cove that will supposed to bring 10% IPC improvement according to the latest rumor. But the problem is the TDP is going to be higher but all of this is a rumor so as always take it with a grain of salt. But Intel is also changing its leadership after the 7 nanometer fallout. Intel has confirmed that its chief engineering officer and president of their technology system architecture and client group Dr. Venkata Murthy Ra Ran here's the name okay now let's go on will be leaving the company on August 3rd furthermore the TSGC you know technology system architecture and client group terrible naming scheme man will be separated into five terms and all of which will report directly to CEO Bob Swan. Here CEO is chief executive officer. But the thing is, um, I don't know what's going to happen, man. I don't know about uh, Dr. Venkadamurthy. Uh, but uh, if they can bring someone new or like, like bring some structure into their company and start listening to the consumers and us reviewers, then they might have a chance to fight back. But as always, time will tell what's gonna happen. Next up, let's talk about Konami because they are launching PC now. Starting with the C300, which is equipped with an i5-9400F processor with air cooler 8GB of RAM and a 512GB of M.2 PCIe SSD and an NVIDIA GTX 1650. And the C700 and C700 Plus going to have a uh, i7-9700 processor with water cooling, AIO not a custom loop, 16GB of RAM, a 512GB of PCIe M.2 SSD, 1TB of hard drive and a NVIDIA RTX 2070 Super. But there is a problem and that is the price tag because it's going to start at 1760 3016 and 3226 dollars for C300, C700 and C700 Plus respectively. But here's the thing Konami, no matter what you do, whatever, you have already lost every single drop of respect from me. You know why? Kojima was my hero, okay? So yeah, you have lost all the respect. Now let's talk about PS5 because PS5 is going to have a feature called activities where you can play certain games without even installing them. So yeah, it's look like PS5 is going to be interesting but you know what is interesting? Gabe Newell's thought because in some show he was asked that uh, which is better Xbox X or PS4 and he said Xbox X and I'm thinking why? You know Gabe Newell was once connected with Microsoft, he runs a company, a game store called Steam that has Windows game in it and Microsoft has said that now all the Xbox exclusive games are going to come to PC and the more Xbox gets sell, the better it's for Microsoft and it's better for this team because the games are going to be for pc and there is a lot of elaborated things but now let's talk about cs because cs 2021 has been cancelled but it's gonna be online so yeah you can experience ces without even going to ces and as always i'm going to cover cs 2021 with my videos so yeah definitely subscribe to the channel yeah but now it's the time for quick news Blizzard confirms World of Warcraft won't be released for consoles. Cuphead get a surprise release on PS4. Now you can use Google Stadia on 4G, 5G networks with your mobile. But Stadia is already dead. So yeah. Google is also matching store prices now in 23 
countries and also they added BNH. Sony announced their long-awaited Sony A7S 3 and I have already made a video about that so check it out right there. LG display ramps up OLED production by 85%. Now there is an electric bus called eBussy. Seriously? eBussy and also Volkswagen paid 9.5 billion dollars to US dieselgate drivers. So that was all for today's techie stuff. Now let's talk about some of the stuff I like starting with Emmy because Emmy 2020 is going to be also online. So yeah, everything is gonna be online right now. And if you ever thought if Sazam and Doomsday ever got into a fight, who would win? Well, now you can know because Screen Rant wrote an article about it, so you can check it out. Next, let's talk about Seth Rogen. He is one of my favorite comedians. But the thing is, Seth Rogen has found his next project agreeing to write a script based on the life of Scott Boras, sometimes referred as the Hollywood Hustler. So yeah, good for you, Seth. Next, let's talk about Star Wars, because director Ron Howard says that there are no plans for solo a star wars story sequel so yeah they are not going to do a second solo movie but honestly i didn't hate the first one like i know it's not harrison ford solo but uh it was good it, it, it wasn't that bad but it's better than some star wars mainstream movies huh. disney but you know what is not better this show because this is the end of the show yeah it's, it's it's ending so if you like the video hit the like button if you don't leave a dislike all of that would hurt my little feelings and if you want to watch more from this channel check out this video right here and if you want to subscribe do it it's free do it by right here and if you want to share this video to your friend who might need this do it and there's another channel we'll see you guys in the next one peace